about the differences and similarities between wolf and dog behaviour. Hope you enjoy. Let's start off with similarities. Burying. Most of us have seen our dog bury things. They may bury food even though it is in abundant supply. This is a behaviour left over from their wolf ancestry. Wolves in the wild bury their food to store it for when food is in short supply, or it may be to protect it from scavengers. Here's my dog trying to bury her bone in a towel. This next behaviour that occurs in both dogs and wolves is called the jaw punch. This is when the wolf or dog pushes the food or item with its nose to make sure it's really dead. Or sometimes it's just to investigate. Wolves do this in the wild to prevent the prey pretending to be dead and then harming the wolf as it goes to eat it. Scraping. Have you ever seen your dog urinate and then scrape the ground right after? This scrape behaviour is used in wolves by the alpha and intermediates as a form of scent marking. This is because of the scent glands in the paws. This helps to mark territory and to assert dominance. This behaviour in dogs could have the same motivation, or it could just be so instinctual it is performed without a reason. Differences Vocalisations Wolves howl several times a day and for many reasons, such as gathering the pack and calling to a meal. Now only a few breeds of dog howl and often only occasionally. Domestic dogs bark and although wolves also bark, it is quite rare. Dogs have also lost the ability to hunt in packs, whereas wolves thrive in packs and use teamwork to hunt. Mating patterns in domestic dogs has also changed from their wolf ancestry. Wolves mate for life and breed only once a year, whereas domestic dogs have many partners and can breed several times a year. Thank you for listening and don't forget to watch the second part of this two-part series, Wolves and Dogs, Body Language.